What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Reach Achievement Guide. This time we are doing part 3 of our 9 part series to complete this game on Legendary. So start up this mission, it's the third playable mission, Nightfall. It's the night mission with a sniper rifle, activate your night vision. And we're going to run up here, I have two uh, strats to show you guys for the first part. So I'm going to have one and then the other back to back. So here's the first part, or the first version. Uh, assassinate the Elite, assassinate the Grunts. Uh, you don't want to assassinate the elite with the fancy flourishy uh, way of going about it. Uh, just the one back smack and then move on because you might draw attention to yourself if you go into the assassination animation. And the grunts you want to punch in the front, not the side or back, so you don't blow up their methane tank and draw attention to yourself. And we're just following this path. It's pretty reliable. You could be more sneaky about it if you want, like hide behind rocks and wait for those enemies to pass, but we're not doing that. We're just going to run forward. And uh, at this point, we're pretty safe now because no enemies really come down here. Uh, we're just going to keep moving. We're basically making a giant loop all the way around uh, behind them. So we're going to wait here for our sprint to recharge. And then we're going to sprint and jump up this incline. And then we're going to continue our loop behind them. Sometimes there might be like an elite here. Um, you could assassinate them. Or sometimes they might be facing you. Uh, but usually you could uh, have a decent chance of sprinting uh, past them. But they're usually not there. So we're going to move this table up to the wall so we can jump on the table and jump onto the wall. And then we're going to crouch and crawl between those two uh, little pieces of rebar, those little two pieces of wreckage. You want to go in between those two things because there's a bunch of soft walls and ceilings here. So it just makes it uh, tough to kind of jump around here. So we're going to jump onto this cabinet. We're going to take out this turret guy. You can take out these ranger guys as you see fit. The ranger elites, they take uh, one shot to the head for a kill but you could ignore the other elites so we're gonna you don't have to do this i'm just doing this uh because i felt like getting health which there's a health pack here a little risky um because the enemies from the previous era start pouring in but not this time i'm quick enough so we're good um so i killed that elite guy which is where we ultimate ultimately want to go um sometimes a lot of times that elite will go up there but we'll just take him out with the sniper real quick and we're going to jump onto this piece of rebar on the corner. And then we're going to jump diagonally over here. So you don't want to jump up onto the perimeter of the roof. To the right or left of where I was. Because uh, there's a bunch of soft walls and ceilings that won't let you. So ultimately we're looking for a opening here down below. We see there's not really anybody down there. So we're going to drop down beside the tree. And then follow this path. Jump over the rock. Use the rock for cover. And then you want to have at least one nade here. So you could chuck it and throw it at the... Uh, the jackal and grunt right there. And then we're going to hop up on this rock. And we are done with the first strat. So I'm going to go back and show you the more speedrunny strat. Which is probably more well known. Um, this is quicker. Um, but it's a little more RNG based. So you may find that uh, it's not working out for you. So you can always restart the mission. Because it's right in the beginning anyway. But it is a little frustrating at first if you're not used to this strat. So we're going to go straight along the wall here. We're not going to uh, drift to the left like we did in the first strategy. We're basically going on the other side. But just follow this path. We're going to jump up here and sprint around a hairpin turn. Just keep sprinting around to the right. And that was pretty good. Uh, sometimes the elites will take notice and totally annihilate you as you're trying to do that. Sometimes it's as easy as what I just showed you. And this is the main part right here that's tough. Um, so we're going to sprint right about here and follow this path into the area. Um, a lot of times, that's the RNG base part. Um, there's a health pack right here, which you could grab or not grab, depending on how hurt you are. And ultimately, we want to go up the stairs here. And a lot of the times, there's a grunt on the turret there. So you want to take him out so he doesn't kill you from behind. And we want to throw a nade, like we did in the previous strat, to take out that jackal and grunt. It didn't work out that well. It staggered him, though, at least. There we go. And now we're back to the section where we left off on the last strategy, or the last run through. So here we are. Uh, the hard part of the mission is now over, so that's the good news. We're just going to hang out up here. You could just conserve ammo um, and just let the giant Gouda slash mules, whatever you want to call them, uh, to take out those grunts in the area. But there's really no reason to conserve ammo at this point. This is uh, We're pretty much done shooting things for this mission. Not that we shot many people to begin with. Uh, but we can help them out to speed things up. Because, again, we have a ton of ammo and no reason to use it. So, just take these big guys out. On lasso, I definitely want to... Well, I, not even on lasso. Because we really don't need any more ammo. 
just wait for this guy to go down. He takes uh, he takes a few shots. And then there might be like a grunt or two over there still since we took out the, the Gouda. So I, sp I sped up this uh, section because uh, there's not much going on in these sections. So we're just going through some caverns. Some ominous uh, music is playing, which you can't hear right now because I sped it up. So for this part, we are going to run past everybody like uh, we're going to do for the majority of this mission. So we're, there's two ways you get past this section uh, pretty easily. One is you jump on this rock that I'm zoomed in on and then just hop up to the corner here and just keep moving on your way that way. The other way is if we were unable to make that jump, it's a little difficult, but not too bad. Just wrap around this way. It's a little more dangerous. As you can see, I'm taking fire. Uh, you wouldn't, you probably wouldn't take this much fire. Uh, you take more if you delay it longer and longer. So since I didn't go there immediately, I took a little extra damage. You could die. Uh, you probably won't, but, uh, there you go. And now we're speeding up this section uh, because there's a bunch of just canyons we're walking through and there's nobody here. There was that ghost moa, the moa that likes to run away and I mean not run away as much as just disappear out of nothing, out of thin air, but whatever. Alright, so now we're at the section powerhouse at night and uh, there's going to be an elite and three grunts. Maybe f I'm blanking right now. It's three or four grunts on the bridge here sleeping. But we want to pay attention to where the elite is, and we're just going to wait for him to move so he doesn't, uh, so we don't move up to him while he's moving. That would be bad. So he's moved, he's repositioned, so we'll go up behind him and smack him in the back. Remember to punch these grunts in the front, not in the side or back, because that will blow up their methane tanks, possibly. So yeah, there's four grunts here sleeping, so punch all four in the front of them. Punch them in the head. Hop in this forklift. Yes, I'm serious. Uh, we're going to get through this gate with this forklift. So we want to park it with the left side of the forklift up against the gate and we're just going to line it up perfectly in the center and uh, we'll be able to squeeze through the gate. You can see uh, you always bail to the left side of the forklift. So I'm trying to line it up so where I'm bailing is right in between those two doors. So I'm just kind of inching my way forward. Looks like it needs a little bit more. I'm going to inch forward again. You can see right there I went out of the forklifts right in between those two doors and thereby uh, squeeze through the gate. And now I've skipped that section. Not only that, but I've despawned everybody in this section. This section normally has a ton of elites and shades set up and everything, but now there's nothing. So that's it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to keep watching, you could click on one of the related guides on the left side of your screen and also be sure to subscribe by clicking on the scorpion icon and hitting that bell for notifications. You can also check out other social media links of mine down below in the description, and I'll see you in the next one.